previously on Patches' DNA video. So, the results are in. We have them after three weeks of waiting. We've got both the Embark and the Wisdom Panel results back. But I'm not going to tell you in this video, so you have to go down, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then hit that notification bell so you know when the next one pops up that has the results. 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 <laughs> What's good, heavy hitters? It is your boy, Mr. Top Heavy, and I'm here to finally reveal to you Patches' DNA. That's right, after the long, long, long wait, teasing the results, this video, you will finally find out what Patches is. But first, let's go over the two types of tests that I used. One was Embark, and the other was Wisdom Panel. Both were pretty easy to use. I would lean towards Embark only because there's just one swab. You swab, put it in the mixture, and you're done. Wisdom Panel had two swabs, and those you had to wait until they were fully dry. So if I had to pick one, I would say ease of use kind of goes with Embark. And then with the results and communicating, I would also have to go with Embark. We sent these tests out in the mail at the same time. Embark was the first one to say that they received it. They were also the first one to say that they were processing it, and they were the first one to give us the results. Now, I don't know where their labs are in correlation to California, so the distance and proximity may affect that. So if you're somewhere else on the East Coast, Midwest, the South, you may get different results. But for my money, I would say Embark slightly easier and just a better experience, but both of them work just fine. Throw up our patches cam right here. All right. So the results actually were not that different. Uh, I would say that they were relatively accurate. However, there are a few small discrepancies. So I don't know what that means necessarily, but I would say that um, the piece of information that we were looking for, what the secondary breed was, I think has been now, ultimately has been decided by these tests. So the first primary DNA strand that Patches has is Staffordshire Terrier or American Bully, which are both sort of the pit bull. Uh, one says American Bully, the other one says Staffordshire, uh, both around the same amount of percentage. I don't know if there's much difference in the DNA between those two breeds, if they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, in my mind, it's the pit bull, um, so... Not much difference, but the second strain or the second breed that popped up was Cocker Spaniel on both. So we definitely know that she's Pitbull and then Cocker Spaniel. Underneath that, there was a little bit of a, you know, handful of different things. One said Chihuahua, there was another Bull Terrier, and then what was called Super Mutt, which is basically, a, you know, a an amalgam of different breeds that are all just kind of usually mudded up together. So, um, you know, those parts and those aspects didn't really give much clarification. She's a mutt, but no Dalmatian. So for all of y'all that kept saying, is she a Dalmatian? She's not a Dalmatian. She's got no Dalmatian, none, zip, zero, zilch, no Dalmatians. So Cruella de Vil, don't come for patches. You're going to get some of this. Uh, but she is Pitbull and she is Cocker Spaniel. Um, so there you have it. I know it was a long time waiting for that. Um, pretty anticlimactic, I'm sorry, but you know, life and travel and just stuff come up. So enjoy a few moments of Patches running around the beach in Santa Barbara. And until next time, top heavy. <laughs>